Hi, this is Bryce Adams of Trimble Forensics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to import models with Trimble SketchUp into Reveal. This function will allow you to access 10 plus million objects for your choosing. Let's begin by selecting the Models feature. Once opening the Models feature, let's locate the button that is identified as SketchUp. Choose the SketchUp button. At this point, a wizard's going to open for you to walk through the process of importing one of the objects. It's important to know that you must be attached to the internet in order to gain access to this warehouse. There's two ways or two sources that you can actually choose. Either the online SketchUp warehouse, or if you've already saved a file on a disk, after going to the SketchUp website, you can access that there. I'm going to go to the online SketchUp warehouse. Choose Next. At this point, you're going to be given a search window. You can either enter the year, make, and model, or even the object that you're looking for. It's also going to give you the opportunity if you do know, let's just say the object's name or maker, you can enter that into the search bar. I'm going to look for a desk, possibly for a crime scene. I'm going to use the maker's name. Once I do that, I'm going to hit my search. Once the search is completed, it's going to give you three options or even possibly more depending on what object you're looking for. To preview each object, in 3D. You can actually just single left click on that object and in the preview window you can see what they're giving you. If this is the desk that you're looking for, go to the next button at the bottom right corner. At this point it's going to ask you to enter the name of the model. This name that you enter into this window is the name that's going to be used in the library of custom model builds. So if you'd like to refine that name, you can swipe across that name and enter what you would like. For this, I'm going to go ahead and use this actual name here. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go to the next. The next step of identifying this object is the orientation. It wants to know basically what is the front of the model. So you have six options here. Locate the option that best fits the front of this particular model. Hit next. Step two of this op operation. I'm going to go to the model that best identifies the top of this model. Click on that side. and hit next. Step three in this process, setting the dimensions to the model. There's going to be a length, width, and height already assigned to the model. In most cases, it's pretty accurate, but if you'd like to update this at this point, you can do this by swiping across that number and then updating the preview. If you're satisfied with this particular dimension set, feel free to hit next. The import stage just about complete. It's going to simply ask you is there another model that you want to search after you're importing that one from to, into your custom category. If you'd like to go back and import new models and continue the process, just check that box. If not, hit next. The wizard's now complete and you're ready to go find the object that you just imported. Hit finish. To find the desk that you just imported, go to your model selection once again. Come over to the model type. The window for me right now says vehicles. I'm going to hit the drop down box and I'm going to go to objects. Since I know the custom builds are actually in the object section, 
I'm going to go to the library for custom builds by hitting the drop down box if it's not already highlighted. Locate the customs and then you'll see you have the previews of everything that you've actually uploaded from the warehouse. Down at the bottom you'll see that the desk is actually input there. I'm going to left click on that desk and then allow it to drag itself onto the scene. One little left click and the desk is now placed on the canvas. Escape out of the function and now you can select the desk, rotate it, or change its orientation. And you can also change the actual model length, width, and height to make it more current. Once you're finished with all that, just select the X or escape and the object will turn off.